I just wanted to do a run through of a tarot deck that I have, uh, John Bauer Tarot. Uh, John Bauer was an artist in like the late 1800s, um, a fantastic Swedish artist. Now the art that was used for this deck, obviously he wasn't commissioned to do the tarot deck. It, the art was chosen and matched to the actual individual cards. Um, I'm just going to go straight through and show it to you. Now this deck has been around for ages. Um, but the reason why I kind of thought about doing um, a little walkthrough of this deck was because uh, I was recently looking at my... I love books. I absolutely love books, but I also love children's books. And I was looking at um, the couple of copies I have of like Grimm's Fairy Tales and... Um, you know, I've Aesop's Fables. I've all I have so many kids' books from my son when he was younger. But um, I've worked in the book industry, so I have quite a few. And children's artwork in particular, I love it, and I really, really love uh, John Bauer. Um, now I don't think he he was. I don't know if he illustrated for children's books, but the you you'll see what I mean by the artwork. Um, I just think that, like, I have plenty of books on different artists. I love to have books on different artists. Um, but tarot decks are a fantastic way of experiencing an artist's work. Um, and in particular, when they match so well as John Bowers uh, does. Um, and it matches, like... <laughs> It's just it's it's strange and very oh into the woods kind of a feel to this um, deck and I just love it because as I said I really really love children's stories and in particularly in particular the old stories um, because I feel that they really had an awful lot those stories have so much to teach kids I mean I think there's a tendency nowadays to kind of soften children's stories and I understand that, you know, I understand you don't want to terrify your kids. But I also feel very strongly that there are there are monsters in the world. Uh, you know, there are and that's that's it. And stories give kids a safe way of experiencing um that reality of life and how to deal with it. Um so that's why I particularly love the the Grimm's fairy tales and the the old or even some Irish folklore um, is pretty scary, but always has a lesson within them, you know, within the stories. Um, so you can see this. It's just it's beautiful, and it just lends itself so well to tarot. And I love to have decks. Um, I mean, I love tarot. I love the tarot system. Like, I have a video where I, I, I... I'll start again. I never had planned on bringing tarot books into my... Or tarot decks into my channel. It was not something I was going to do. But I made a video where I was looking at exploring a character I was having difficulty with. And I used a tarot deck to do that. And I really enjoyed it. You know, it's as I said, I never kind of really openly talk about the fact that I love tarot. I feel it's a very private thing for me anyway. But um, then I just thought, why didn't I do this before? Because it's, it's, it is such a gorgeous way to explore an artist's artwork. You know, some artists are commissioned to do decks um, and others, well, the artwork is chosen. And they, because each of the cards, I mean, there isn't any situation within life that isn't explored in tarot. Um, so when you match artwork to the cards and it's done well, um, there's nothing like it. There is just nothing like it. And I, a lot of people... Um, had a problem with the backing on this but I personally I think it's fantastic you know you have the green in the front of the card and you have the the green and the red on the back I think it's beautiful the cardstock is, is pretty good 
this particular deck is printed by Los Carabeo. Um, and they did a, a good job of it, I think, to be honest. I really love this this deck. It's gorgeous. You'll have to forgive me a little bit for the lighting now, if it's not too good in it. But it does if you know anything about the um the cards at all, you will um like that's the page of coins. You will you you catch the meanings straight away. But his artwork in particular is the, that's the magician. Like that is just so stunning. I always feel with this deck that I'm walking through a wintry woods. That's beautiful. He was a great illustrator, honestly, just amazing. And as I said, this deck has been out for some time. It's the Wheel of Fortune. I understand, I've, I've said it before, I think, you know, I know that a lot of people feel um, they get a bit spooked with tarot. And I understand that, you know, it's it's gotten a bad rap, to be perfectly honest, but I, um, I'm passionate about it, to be perfectly honest, as I am about, you know, as I, I don't just use it just because I want to look at a, have a different way of experiencing an artist's work. But I certainly consider it a medium for, for looking at an artist's work, along with books or, you know, the actual paintings. Um, but I also use it as it's traditionally meant to be used. Which is something that a lot of people have, you know, misunderstandings about as well. You know, because it is such a misunderstood system. And if you're interested in it, I would encourage anybody to, you know, there was a lot of like boulder dash attached to tarot, um, where it came from and all this, you know, nonsense. Um, and I think that in some ways is really taken from tarot. Um, I think it's a real clarifier of, you know, the system itself rather than divination, which some people certainly use it for, but I think it just, it crystallizes um, whatever situation you're working in or with and if you're willing to just sit down and explore it it's it'll reward you so much um but as i said i never intended it to be part of this channel but uh, it kind of happened by accident but um i'm enjoying it and if if people enjoy it i'm i'm happy with that uh, but as you can see, again, I, ju I just wanted to say, like, as I said, this deck is out for a while, Los Garabeo. Um, and I just wanted to give my two cents for it because uh, I think it's totally well worth it. It's a beautiful deck. <laughs> look at that, that's so gorgeous. Now, I, look, I'm not saying the names, like this is the Five of Swords. I'm not saying the names of the cards because I'm assuming that you you might know them. And if you don't, and if you want to explore further, you know, by all means, get on the internet or get to your local bookstore and you will uh, you'll find an awful lot of nonsense about tarot. An awful lot of nonsense. Um, but there are some good resources out there as well and a lot of really good youtubers i would certainly recommend kelly from the truth in story her channel is fantastic and it's purely like about tarot and divination and she's um she's her channel is fantastic so as i said this is just a quick run through of the artwork yeah I really I just I love it um it just reminds me of so many children's stories that I I have adored over the years um and I hope people aren't afraid to tell those stories to their kids because oh they're so valuable that's the fool they are so valuable
Okay. That's it. Okay, guys. I was just... Because um, I had been playing around with this, so I just said I'd do a little bit of a video and uh, show you some of the really wonderful decks that are out there and uh, you don't need to be scared of them, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, be good. Talk to you soon. Bye.